Hello and welcome to this session. Today we will learn how can we run our API tests from command line and this is very easy in Catalon Studio. You can directly generate the command that you can use to run your tests and command line execution or console mode execution is very very important. Whenever you want to integrate your testing with any continuous integration systems or any external service or systems, command line will be very useful. So let's get started and see how to do that. I will go to my Catalon Studio and this is the project that we have created in our earlier sessions. And if I go to test suites and go to test suite one, this is the test suite we generated. So what I'm going to do is I will just uh, enable a single test case inside this test suite for execution. Let me just say, select this particular one and make sure that you save in case you are making any changes so that it gets reflected. And now to generate a command, I can go here. So you can see build CMD option here at the top menu. Just click here and it will give you a window to generate command for console mode. And here also you can see a help button if you click here. This will take you to the documentation page and you can see here there are some examples and syntax how you can use this on multiple operating systems. So on Windows, Mac OS and Linux what is the syntax you have to follow. All the command line options you can see here and then you can also see some examples here. So this is very useful and handy you can refer this and now coming back here. So here. The first thing is you have to select your test suite that you want to execute so I can go to browse and as of now I have a single test suite. Also another important thing is command line mode or console mode execution is available only at test suite level so you can run your test suites or test suite collection using command line. So you can select your test suite and then in case you have a profile or multiple uh, profiles you can select it from here. Uh, so you can check this display console log and also we have keep console log after execution completed. Now keep this particular option unchecked in case you are integrating with Jenkins or continuous integration systems. And then there are some retry count you can uh, put here or and update execution status for the test suite after the time here. And then just click on this button generate command. So this will give you the command that you can directly use to run your test from command line. So what I will do is I will first go to my command line and the first thing you have to do is you have to change the directory to the location where your Catalon Studio uh, folder is. So this is the folder that you downloaded for Catalon Studio. So in my case I will just show you it is under tools Catalon Studio and here you can see the Catalon Studio folder. So you have to go to this particular location on Windows and in case you are on Mac you will go to terminal and then uh, change it to the applications where Catalon Studio goes usually just in case if you have not uh, changed the location uh, so you can go to applications and then use the command that is generated for Mac OS. And here I will change the location to this particular path so let me do this this is inside D so I will say CD and this location uh, sorry this is the command first I have to change the location so let me just do that I will say CD and copy this path and provide it here so now I am inside my Catalon Studio Windows 64 5.8.0 folder and now I can run this command so I will copy it from here and go to my command line and paste it here and hit enter. So this should start and you can also see there are some locks coming. So this is uh, running and sending our request and you can see the request sent successfully. And also if I go inside the reports folder, let me expand this and let me refresh this. You can see the reports are also coming here. So this was one test that got executed if I go inside the test case details you can see there was one step that failed because of which the test case is shown as failed here. Now in command line execution if you go again to this build CMD you can see we have a option to generate property file. So if you click here it will uh, give you ask you for the location to store your property file so you can store it anywhere uh, by default it will give you the location of your project so inside the project folder I can just save this I will save it 
and if I show you this let me go inside my project folder and show you the saved property file so this is the console.properties file that got saved so here you can see it has saved all the options that we usually give from command line so here is the browser type execution profile project path retry count test suite path so now I can directly use this file instead of giving all the options at the command line so how to use that so in this case what I will do is I just have to say catalon and then minus properties file so this is minus properties file let me just show you yes equals to the location of the file so in my case this is here so let me get the location I will copy this location here and provide it here so it's better to provide under inverted quotes or in inside quotes in case you have any spaces in your project path so I will give this here and then the name is console.properties and then run mode is console and I can just hit enter and again this will start the execution so this will start execution and I can verify this by going to the reports folder and I will refresh this and here yes you can see I have got a new report here so this means that is running fine also the same thing you can check from the documentation on Catalon website so here you can see we have here use console.properties file this is how you will use it and then the command is Catalon minus properties file the absolute path of the properties file and run mode is console so this is how you will use it so this is how you can use the command line mode or console mode which will be very useful and very important in your projects I hope this session was useful for you thank you for watching